How do everybody? As I said in my post on Facebook the other day, I had a an order from Jill, G, Geo Maggi, which was due to arrive, estimated to arrive yesterday and actually arrived today. So six days after they posted it. And I wanted to do an unboxing video, so it was my first order from them. So we're gonna open the box together and see what came in it. It says um, economy select. I thought I paid for fast, but I suppose six days from Italy is fairly fast. So this is the uh, transportation document it says, but I presume there's a list of, yeah, there's a list of the order and the prices I paid. They're all fairly low priced items because I wanted small, small plants. I prefer small plants because I, I think they settle in better to your particular environment. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside so I can check them as I go. Hopefully they'll have names on them, but we'll see. It's well packed, nice light box, but it feels nice and firm, so which is always a good sign, so the packing is not loose. Oh, okay, newspaper. Oh yeah, just the top. Giro Maggi, a heartfelt thank you from or from for your order from the staff of Giro Maggi. Okay. That's always nice to see something. And they're wrapped in kitchen paper by the looks of it, which is a good idea for succulents because it absorbs any excess moisture which may be in the atmosphere. What have we got here? Something very small. Oh, it's a very nice looking Either a Titanopsis, looks more, looks like a Titanopsis. Which one? I'll have to look up. But as you can see there, nice quality plant. Looks nice and plump too, not too dried out. A little bit broken, but that's okay. It wasn't got, didn't get broken in transport. It just for three or four euros, which is the average price of most things I got, that's really good. I'm very happy with that. Can you see? Camera, pick it up. Okay. So we'll put you aside. So by the looks of it, there's no navels on them individually, so I'll have to figure them out as I go. And well, that's all right. They're fairly distinguishable from each other. So exciting. <laughs> oh, this one has a label in it, okay. Grapto Sedum Francesco Baldi Cristata. Cool. Where is it on the list? Hmm. Four euros. Very nice, very healthy plant. Nice and plump, really beautiful. Crested bits going on in the middle there for f oh, and the prices on the tag actually. Four euros. It's really amazing value, really. Even including the uh, postage and packaging. So, we put you aside with your tag. Of course the advantage I suppose of paying the extra postage 
important because they come in a very short space of time, within five days. The plants don't get time really to uh, over dehydrate or anything like that, you know. This is a, um, yeah, I recognise this one. I was looking forward to having this one. Let's see. A, uh, a Dromiscus. I think it's Bolianus, is it? Blossianus, Bloss, or oh no, it's Rupicola. I think it's Rupicola. I'd have to look it up now, but I think it's Rupicola. Really excellent, excellent. Look, really healthy, really plump, and just bursting with vigor. Fab. Like opening a sweet shop or a sweet a box of sweets. This is this is an Adromish Eskus too. It might be what's trig yeah trig trig triginus. Two two little plants. The roots are kind of See there, the way the roots are, are either broken off or maybe cut off. Or Roots are generally not a problem for succulents. They can regrow them very easily because they have plenty of moisture and plenty of nutrients stored in all these plump leaves and even in those plump roots there. So they grow roots, no problem. And an extra little plant there. So for three euros, I mean, I think they're a great value. Really brilliant. Excellent. Very happy so far. I like the way they're tied up too, so they're it's not loose. Look, it's wrapped up and then tucked in, so it's really so even if the box gets jumped around, thrown around the place, they won't um come loose. Oh yeah, really excellent. Very pleased so far. Oh yeah, excellent. Lapidaria margarete, and I only had one tiny little one of these, so I said I'd order a few more. And I was hoping they would come as a clump, because sometimes you can never tell whether the things are going to rep the photographs on the site are representational of what you actually get. And in this case, it's certainly looks like it's absolutely true there three great little clumps, little plants, so I think that was four euros too, yeah, really excellent. I got quite a few Adromishkus and um, ones like that. This feels to me like it might be a Cryptanthus, but we'll see. I've been looking for Cryptanthus for ages. And could never find them anywhere outside of America. So I was delighted to find them. Oh no, this is a, wow. This is a really beautiful Titanopsis. Wow. That's an amazing size plant for whatever it was, under five euros. Titanopsis. So, Calcaria or Fulleri. One or the other. One was three euros and the other one was four euros. I mean, what incredible value is that? Really excellent condition. Such a beautiful colour. Not long after flowering by the looks of it. Which means that it will definitely flower next year. Excellent.
Oops. Don't mix up your labels. Well, most of them I know them anyway, but. Packing aside, what to open next? What to open next? There's so many. <laughs> this one, this is a little one. It's this little one here. Oh, a drum is a drum is shush. Is shush. How do you pronounce that? A drum is shush. Shush. A drum is shush. Lavaranos, another for four euros, another nice big healthy root on it. A beautiful little plant, really amazing. Wow, I'm so impressed already with Tiramaggi. I mean, I've ordered a drumish shusses. Just, just before from other places and um, I ordered some from much much further afield from a place I won't even mention and they were like three times the price and the plants were like maybe that size this size here for three times the price so it's really excellent yeah Springtime or early summer, well, around this time, between around April, April is always a really good time to order succulents because it's sort of coming into their, well, usually for a lot of succulents, actually, springtime is their growth, spring and autumn. They do a lot of growth in spring and autumn more than any other time of the year. So if you buy them at this time of the year, they not only travel well because the weather is a little bit milder, but they also... Um, get off you know they they grow straight away really there's no sitting there um it's not a good idea to buy them in uh, autumn or winter alienopsis look huffy eye for what is that three euros like nice really healthy really excellent yeah i mean these are these are definitely like two or three year old plants. For that price it's incredible really. Beautiful. creature. Oh, okay. I didn't expect it to be quite so elongated. It's interesting. It's a Sinocrassula. Sinocrassula densiro densiro sulata. Four euro plant. Nice. Slight bit kind of floppy. Like it's kind of um, probably just in need of a little water. But otherwise, super healthy. No broken parts and plenty of branches and whoops. Lost a leaf, which is, as we know, is no problem for succulents. They'll just grow new plants from those leaves. Okay, excellent. I was so excited about the, Christ the 
the crested succulents, so I ordered three because I never had crested ones before. This is an Acheveria pul pulvinata, frosty, crested. Look at that, I mean, for, what is it? I can't even read it. Three euros. How amazing is that for three euros? Like, really? It's obviously a very common and easily grown variety if it's that price, but nonetheless it's still quite a spectacular plant for three euros by anybody's standards. Nice. Excellent. Wow. Okay, what next? What next? This maybe. This is a small one. Whoops. Oh, look how beautiful. This is a conna, conna, conna fightum. Mary I. I only, I've never had one of these before. So I thought I'd try one out and wow. Apparently they um, clump and and uh, split up. They're sort of in the in the lithops family, but they clump and spread across the ground, making mats very quite easily. So they're quite prolific. That was five euros. That still a really good plant for five euros. Excellent. Very slight bit soft, so in need of a bit of water, but otherwise very hap happy. Uh, where to put you, where to put you? Okay. I think I'd forgotten how many I ordered, so I... Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of running out of space here already, but anyway, it's okay. So what's this? This is very light, super light. It's probably a cryptanthus. I've never had cryptanthus before, and I was, as I was said earlier, I was. I wanted to try them out. Yes, it is. Yeah. Cryptanthus. Bivitatus, pink starlight. Amazing. They're um, epiphytes. They're they're um, what do you call them? Um, the word has gone out of my head. They're epiphytes that grow on trees, but they have succulent qualities, you know, because they. Uh, the roots are really just for helping them to cling on to the tree. They actually store water and nutrients in there. The leaves, the leaves are really quite fleshy and not quite that fleshy, not as fleshy as a succulent would be, but they're still very rigid. And they, they clump up apparently and make little colonies, stay quite low. Really beautiful. Earth star is the common name. That was five euros. Yay, I'm very excited about that. We'll see how they, hopefully they'll survive for me. Oh, this is another one. This is the species, is it? Yep. Cryptanthus bivitatus. Okay, a bit kind of squished in the in the packaging, but obviously that mustn't be any problem for them. They must be tougher than they look, which is, I mean, if they're sold on a site that sells succulents, they must be, you must be able to treat them just like succulents. Apparently they like a little bit more moisture in the ground than your normal succulent, but otherwise, amazing. 
that one was six euros. So we'll give it a go and see what happens. You can see from the roots there that the, the kind of roots that cling to things, cling to the inside of pots and things. Wow, that's a big package. I might just leave that one to the end. So one, two, three, four, five more. Here. Oh, okay, we have another Titanopsis. Wow, so beautiful. Amazing. Titanopsis calcarea, three euros. Just amazing. Ah, I mean, I for three euros I'm kind of sort of astounded really. I didn't expect them to be anywhere near this big quite honestly because the sizes given on the site were like six centimeters you know I thought yeah okay three inches but that's probably the pot it'll probably be considerably smaller but wow so far I'm seriously impressed. I think part of the reason why I'm seriously impressed is because I've bought a lot of succulents over the years from all sorts of